Hi everybody, welcome to Demon Kitty Creations. I'm Tashi, this is my husband Matt. Hi. Um, and today we are doing another Boxu unboxing. I'm super excited, so let's just dig right in and see what's up. Right, the theme this month is Autumn Harvest. This is a little booklet, it has all the information about each snack. And while he's finding the first um, page of snacks, Here's this little sneak peek at the box. Okay, so Tashi from the future here. I just realized that I forgot to mention that below in the comment section box, there will be a link in which you will get $10 off your first box. If you subscribe, full disclosure, I will get $10 off as well. Um, and I wanted to give a big shout out to Marcel for using my link. Thank you, Marcel. Bye. Yemo curry cube. This crunchy snack is essentially a cube fried sweet potato. It really lets the natural flavor of the sweet potato shine in all of its sweet, delicious glory. You found it? Yep. It gives an extra note here, Yaki Emo, grilled or baked sweet potato is a popular fall snack in Japan. It almost looks like bread in that picture. Mmm, mm-hmm. Mmm, it smells decent. And they are cubed, okay. Ow. Okay, taste good, but damn, are they hard. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good. I don't really care for it. To me, it tastes like stale potato. I didn't think you would. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried it. Benimo purple yam pie. Benimo is a purple yam known for its striking color, natural sweetness, and superfood status. For this hand pie, the sweet Benimo filling is balanced by the buttery pie crust. So. It's another sweet potato thing. Here's what it looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna take a bite. I was gonna say, it doesn't look like it breaks. Mmm. Um, Are you selling it or no? No, that's actually really good. Mm. I do like that. It is sweet. It says it's sweet here, so. Mm. I really like that. That's really good. Okay. Um, that I would definitely do again. So mm. next we've mm -hmm. got Poji Chow Roasted Green Tea Financier. This, or, yeah, I guess. This cake is dense, rich, and packed with a flavorful aroma of pojicha, roasted green tea, with notes of chocolate, caramel, and almost fruity black tea. Pojicha adds deep and complex flavor to this otherwise simple cake. This is also sweet. It's vegetarian, like the last two were. It's really dense. Yeah. Like, you can tell by feeling of it. It kind of looks like rye bread. Mm, not a fan. There is some sweet there, but it doesn't, doesn't cancel out the... The bitterness of the green tea. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of bitter. Kind of. The other one was like that too last month, but at least it had the chocolate too. That yeah. That out. There's just not quite enough sweet to really balance that. Okay. Next we've got Pure Gummy Petite Grape. These gummies are shaped like little hearts with a sour exterior to balance a sweet interior. Each flavorful, each flavorful bite delivers the concentrated, fruity, and refresh, refreshing flavor of real grape juice. So it's sweet. It's not vegetarian, though. Uh, no common allergens. It's 
Speaking of gummy things, those hard chocolate, or those hard candies that we had last month, mm -hmm. we still have to order more of those. Oh yeah, the Yuzu Saki candy, gone in one night, need to get more. <laughs> Can you try and open that? My hands keep slipping off of it. Okay, does it not just rip? Not in my experience. <laughs> right, we'll do it this way. There we go. There we go. Oh, dropped one. That comes out of your share. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is good. Mm, that is strong. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like grape drink. <laughs> Part, but wow does it taste like grape drink <laughs> yeah that is a punch in the face of grape and not in a bad way it just boom there it is yeah did you forget what you were eating bang here's a reminder exactly yeah. so next we've got blanchel mini chocolate Anno Emo Sweet Potato. I'm sensing a theme this month. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, these delicate cookies are flavored with Anno Emo, a special sweet potato grown exclusively in, I'm going to try this, Tanegashima, Japan, known for its exceptionally sweet natural flavor. So it's sweet, it is vegetarian, and common allergens are milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. I really have no idea what these look like because it literally there's a sliced sweet potato on one side but then little rectangles on the other. It is the little rectangles. It is the little rectangles. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's got a slice of cheese in it. If you can see that on edge. Mmm, that's not bad. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm kind of sweet potatoed out, but that, you don't even notice the sweet potato. Mm -mm. It tastes like something, it tastes almost like the fudge stripe cookies from Keebler. Kind of, yeah. But they dissolve a bit more. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You found it already? Oh yeah, it was right here. Chestnut pie. This snack almost seems more like a soft bun than a pie, but the thin crust is a buttery pie dough. Inside is a smooth chestnut and white bean paste that is sweet and balances ni nicely against the savory crust. It is sweet. It contains alcohol. Um, common allergens are milk, eggs, tree nuts, wheat, and soy, but it is also vegetarian. I can taste the alcohol. Can you? Well, I better not let you drive then. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's good. Interesting. There's just a hint of the taste of alcohol in it. Yeah, I really don't know. I like it, but I don't know why. If that makes any sense. Same. Hmm. Okay. Let me reset the palette here. Hmm. That is good though. It's almost like there's a bit of uh, white chocolate chips in there. Hmm. That's the white bean. White bean. Red bean paste tastes like chocolate. White bean paste tastes like white chocolate. Okay. At least in my experience very limited experience don't quote me on that yeah. okay pure potato chips sesame oil and salt who doesn't love a good potato chip <clears throat> these may seem like plain potato chips but close attention reveals lingering umami notes adding a richness from the addition of sesame oil flavor is savory they're not vegetarian so watch out um, common allergens are milk, wheat, and soy. 
Do you need my handy dandy notebook? I mean knife again. Apparently. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, there's two of them. Sort of. They just look like regular potato chips. Mm. Yeah. They're um they're almost like kettle baked. Mm. I'm not a fan of the kettle baked. I'm a fan of these. Huh. I'm looking at the front of this like I can read it. <laughs> So I just realized what's next. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Nope. Okay. It does contain alcohol, though. What is next? These are next. Uni rice crackers. This delicious fried cracker pulls its lovely umami flavor from the uni, or sea urchin, and soy sauce. It's savory and salty without being overly fishy. Lies. <laughs> and the crackers even have an oblong shake to look more like the actual sea urchin. They're savory, uh, not vegetarian. They also contain mollusk, shellfish, and alcohol. And common allergens are eggs, wheat, and soy. Now, we had this last month, and yeah. He took half a bite of a cracker and threw the rest of the cracker into the box. I spit out the cracker in my mouth. I did... The stupid thing of shoving the entire cracker into my mouth and uh well i ate it but oh lori um i'm not eating these again no way am i eating these again and they gave us two yeah we'll give those away like actually i'm gonna can... trick my boss into trying these i was gonna say can we do that as a giveaway um yeah totally we can do it as a giveaway um, they're completely and utterly gross in my opinion, but if you want to try some uni rice crackers, hey, leave a comment like down below. You might actually like them. I mean, I've seen people review this that loved these things. We don't I judge. Hate them. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do it as a giveaway. <laughs> okay, so moving on as quickly as possible. Moreno <laughs> Madeline Apple. This snack is definitely not a traditional French madeleine, but the jammy apple filling adds a layer of luxury we didn't even know was missing. Excuse me. His cake is soft yet rich and definitely perfect for an afternoon tea. Uh, it is vegetarian. It's supposed to be sweet. And common allergens are milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. I think we oversold that last thing. <laughs> you think? Please, God, it's horrible. Please take it away from us. Do you want it? You might like it. <laughs> Are we going to give it out? Eventually. <laughs> It is lingering. It's really spongy, like it looks like a pie, but it has a cake coating. And it's amazing, but it just doesn't want to like all swallow. It stays in your mouth. Mm. Alright, so next we've got Kurumi Walnut Mochi. The soft mochi has a lovely texture that isn't too sticky and has chunked walnuts needed throughout. We love the faint notes of soy sauce that tango with the sugary coating and adds pleasant umami. So it's a sweet flavor, it is vegetarian, and common allergens are tree nuts, sweet, and soy. <clears throat> that looks shiny. 
What is mochi again? Mochi is a chewy fried rice dough. Oh, that's right. Okay. I know I know the word. Why do I know the word? Because mochi in and of itself is amazing. Sorry. <laughs> There was a piece of dead skin on your nose, and I replaced it with a hair somehow. This, it tastes familiar. It is sweet. It does taste a bit like that mochi ice cream that you got. But the mochi ice cream I got had caramel in it. This doesn't. No, but I mean, it's it's the same texture. It's yeah, it's a mochi chewy. texture. It's a <laughs> Anyways, I, I think it's pretty good. I like it, and the fact that I don't like mochi, that tells you something. So, uh, next we've got Smile Harvest Savory Sesame Biscuit. Uh, these super thin biscuits are crisp, buttery, delicate, and sweet all in one bite! Exclamation mark. White sesame seeds are baked into each biscuit and add the gentle hint of fragrant sesame. They're sweet, vegetarian, and contain milk, wheat, tree nuts, and soy allergens. <clears throat> oh, they're only almost like Ritz crackers. I see seeds. I did you. They are sesame seeds. I did not expect to see them. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> That's pretty good. It looks like there's sugar baked into the top. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it, but there is sugar in there. The light hits it just so. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. This next one? Shiitake mushrooms. Black pepper arari. Well, I'm not the world's biggest fan of mushroom. Very certain instances. Um, but just opening the package of this rice cracker is enough to reveal the rich, savory aroma, aroma of shiitake mushrooms. Ugh. Bright and fiery black pepper offset the mushroom's umami, all against a perfectly crunchy rice cracker base. Uh, it's savory, vegetarian, and common allergens are milk, wheat, and soy. Hmm. Mm -mm. It tastes better than it smells. I have to, don't I? You have to. This is abuse. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh. Black pepper hit me in the back of the throat. Woo! Black pepper's strong. Woo. If I say that's what she said, will that keep you from getting monetized? I don't know. I'm not we'll monetized right now anyway, so... <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, okay. It's not as bad as it smells. It smells way worse. Okay, stop running ahead. <laughs> Hoshino Hojicha Latte. Hoshino Hojicha... It's going to make me say it again. Hoshino Hoshino Hojicha Latte <laughs> is an instant latte that can be enjoyed both hot or cold. An ideal progression for Hojicha due to its nutty caramel flavor. Grab a cup to enjoy and keep you warm this winter. Um, this is going to be a you thing because I don't drink coffee. All right. Um, I'm going to cut out for a second, read the brewing instructions, get it fixed, and then we'll come back. Okay, I'm back. I got my latte. Um, I should not have smelled that so deeply. I already knew I didn't like the smell of it. Um, yeah. uh, common allergens are milk. They, it is vegetarian though. There's really nothing else to say about this. 
the brewing instructions aren't really nearly as bad. Basically, you pour some hot water over it and then stir well, stir well. Or you can use cold water and add ice after stirring. Complicated, real complicated. Nope. Yeah. Nope. I yeah. don't do coffee. It doesn't taste like coffee. Uh, this is why you married me to abuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes better than it smells. Don't care. <laughs> oh, is that it? That's everything. That's everything. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Next month's haiku hint. Temples, matcha, and the rare side of a geisha draw us here next month. Hmm. What do you think? That's going to be a hint of what we're getting next month. Apparently we get to eat a geisha. <laughs> don't bite him. Don't. don't. What would the import tariffs on that are? Um, uh, moving on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Um. So yeah, that's all. Um. This latte is not nearly as bad as it smells. It actually tastes pretty decent to me. I will probably finish drinking it. Um, so yeah, that's the entire box. If you got the box yourself, let me know what your favorite item was. I would say my favorite would have to be um, probably these. I love a good chocolate and even though it has um, sweet potato in it, you, you can't tell. It's no. really good. Yeah, it's really good. I was a fan of the grape gummies, which I think are here. Yep. yep. It's weird. You see, those were my second favorite. They just had a little bit too much of a punch in the mouth for me. <laughs> so, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the bell button to get notifications every time I post. And I'll see you again next time. Bye! Bye.